Hey everyone, welcome in. The Artificial Trainer here, back with another exciting video. Today we're gonna to talk keyframe animation using a Hunyuan Laura. So this is an exciting new revolution in the way that keyframe animation is done. That's one of the classic ways to do animation in general, is to create keyframes and then create animations between the keyframes. This automates that process of creating the animation between the keyframes using AI. Head over to my Patreon, link is in the description. It's free Patreon, no cost to you to, to join the Patreon or to view this uh, workflow. And same thing with all of my Patreon posts, everything is completely free. So head over there and first thing we're gonna need to do is download the LoRa. And if you haven't, installed Hunyuan before, that is the actual first thing you need to do. I have a bunch of videos about it. I have a playlist about it where you can watch a bunch of information on how to install Hunyuan, how to optimize it, how to run it faster, all that kind of thing. So if you are new to Hunyuan, head over and check out that playlist. It'll get you up and running and then you can come back and play with this keyframe Laura. Okay, so if you do have Hunyuan installed already, then just grab this Laura. It'll bring you to this Hugging Face page and all you need to do is hit download. Once you have it downloaded, you are going to want to put it into your ComfyUI models, Laura's folder. And I have it inside a Hunyuan subfolder inside of Laura's, so you can see it right there. Okay, and that's it. Once you have Hunyuan installed in that Laura, you can just grab my workflow and you'll be off and running. So I did provide a couple images here. So you can go ahead and download those if you want to follow along exactly, and then download the workflow as well. To use our workflow, all we have to do is drag it right into ComfyUI. Okay, so this was actually created just before image to video was released. So it still uses the text to video model. So I'm using the Honeymoon Video 720 CFG Distill BF16. You can also use the FP8 model. I don't have that downloaded because I, I just typically change the uh, the quantization if I feel like I, I want to run at FP8 instead of BF16. Um, if you don't have Sage Attention running, make sure that you change the Sage Attention to either SDPA or Flash or Comfy Attention. I do have Sage Attention working, so I'm going to use it. And then same thing with Torch Compile. If you don't have Triton working, just bypass this node. It'll still work, it'll just take longer to run. And then if you're running into out of memory errors, turn up this, this block swap. You can do up to 20 double blocks and 40 single blocks. Um, I'm only gonna use 10, this runs fine for me for with 10, but I have 32 gigabytes of VRAM. So you may need to up this a bit more. Okay, and then other than that, make sure you have the right VAE loader path and you should be good to go from there. Now on to our settings that we want to change for our video. So first thing I would do is upload our two keyframes. So here's my keyframe one and then my keyframe two. And then the only other thing you need to do is you can adjust the height and width if you'd like and the number of frames in between if you like. If you don't have a ton of movement and you do a lot of frames, sometimes you'll get some like jittery motion. Remember for your number of frames, you need to have N times four plus one frames in order, because Hanyun uses a latent size of four frames. So you can't have like three frames because then that math doesn't work out, right? You have N times four plus one equals three, so you have n times four equals two, and then that's not a whole number, you need n to be a whole number. Two divided by four is a half, which n can't be a half. So remember that you need, your number of frames needs to be n times four plus one compatible. We'll do 61 frames, so same thing. Um, it still works out with this formula. Okay, and then the only other thing, if you wanna resize, your images a little bit this resizes both of them to whatever height and width you'd like from there that is it for this workflow we can just try to run it all right so there's our output so pretty cool um obviously uses both the beginning and end frame very well so let's give another one a try 
and I'm gonna go with a different schedule here. Scheduler here. We'll go with flow match discrete. And I'm gonna lower T cache for this one so that we get a little bit better quality. All right, so I think I actually might prefer the flow match schedule, scheduler to SDE DPM with this specific workflow. We get some really clear, clear excellent results. Um, so I'm really happy with how this one came out. So that is it for this video. Just a quick one today. I hope that this is a useful tool for you. I, I know that this is something that's popular on a lot of like the closed source sites like Kling or sites like that. They allow you to put a start and an end frame in. This would be comparable to that. And I think it gives pretty great results as long as you don't get crazy with the two images you put in, right? So if you have if you had this cop and then like that purple superhero, it would make the start and end frame match, but you're, you're gonna get like a crazy warp in the image. You're not gonna get uh, a cohesive video like I got with this one. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I hope it's, uh, I hope it's helpful. Uh, if you're not already following my Patreon, give me a follow over there. I release all the workflows early for free and you'll get to see the workflows before the video even comes out. Uh, if you need tech help or you just are looking for a, a community to talk about AI with, there's a link in the description for my Discord. Join up there. We've already got an awesome community started up. People giving help, giving tech support help or talking about new models, posting new GitHub projects if they come out. So a really awesome community we're building there. Uh, follow my other socials and I will talk to you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.